Hey guys, it's phase one. Today I'd like to go through the upcoming mission updates for Star Citizen in 2021. If you're new to this channel, make sure to subscribe for more Star Citizen content such as this. I also stream on Twitch every Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Saturdays. So give me a follow there if you'd like to hang out and play some Star Citizen. You can find me also on Twitter and Instagram as well. My links are in the description below. And without any further ado, let's get started. So the first mission set I'd like to cover is the 890 jump mission updates. So now the upcoming updated 890 jump missions will require body dragon. This will enable players to drag unconscious NPCs into the ship's cargo hold to extract them. This will include lawful and unlawful variants. Up next is the delivery missions. There will be time delivery missions with multiple drops and vary timers. This will require players to prioritize drops and plan out routes to ensure that packages are delivered on a timely manner. The missions will vary between local and long distances as well. Also, there will be delivery missions whereby players are tasked to deliver hazardous cargo to dangerous locations. Cargo will be damage sensitive and must be protected while outlaws attempt to destroy it. This sounds quite exciting. Up next is counterfeiting and data download missions. These missions will task players with infiltrating ships defended by NPCs to hack terminals. There will be lawful and unlawful variants of this type. In addition, there's also ground scramble races which they intend to add to Hurston and its moons. So now the last piece that I'd like to cover is also in regards to bounty hunting V2 itself. So now they're going to be enabling players to track criminals via Moby Glass security apps linked to the Strex beacons, comma rays, air traffic controls, cameras, and NPC informants. This will rely on various backend tech including virtual AI, the NPC scheduler, and security services. To support these features as it pertains to bounty hunting, there are a few updates will come along this year as well. The first one is a tracking app. So this is a Moby Glass app that will display the player's history of criminality and helps them understand the laws of various jurisdictions. Security Network Version 0 Now the initial implementation of the security system, this would allow security features to know if a player is trespassing without having to assign them a criminal rating. It will also route criminal sightings to the backend communication network. This sounds quite exciting because now bounty hunters will now need to access this network in order to obtain uh, as much information as they can in an effort to track down their targets. Quite exciting. Um, the next one will be Security Network version 2. So now the full implementation of the security system. This includes other features for which players may need clearance such as doors and elevators. And lastly is the Prison System version 3. Updating the current prison location to include more challenging routes involving AI interactions and stealth gameplay. So it looks like we're gonna have an exciting year this year. Which feature do you look forward to most? Let me know in the comments below. If there's anything in this video that you like, make sure to leave a like as well. And if you're new to this channel, make sure to subscribe if you haven't already. I will see you on the next one.